Hello, my name is Semtex, and today I will be showcasing the method I used for safe spotting shamans on my one defense ultimate. This method involves two alts, and with the gear and stats I had on my ultimate, I was getting 85 to 90 kills an hour. You would get more kills an hour if you were, for example, using full crystal, and you would get less kills per hour if you were using, say, a magic short bow. So starting off with the first alt, run along the south wall and you will get the aggro of the southwestern shaman, but you will not kill it. You then want to run up to the barricade on the west side. You want to stand next to it so the shamans won't jump at you. And then we will start killing this northwestern shaman spawn, making sure to keep the southwestern shaman on the other side of the barricade like so and make sure not to get the aggro of that third shaman over there. Okay, so now that we have killed the northwestern shaman, we are going to drop an item onto this marked tile, and then we are going to our settings, and we will left-click the monkfish, and then enter our house options as we're running to the item. That will initiate a red-click stall, and when the shaman comes back, it will not be able to move because it'll be trying to aggro onto the alt. With the second alt, we will come running in and we are going to go on the northeastern wall and then get the aggro of that third shaman and start killing it. It's helpful to stay along the edge of the middle barricade so it doesn't jump. Now that it is dead, we're going to repeat the process. We're going to drop an item on this marked tile. We're going to enter our settings, left click the bone, and then enter the house options, and that will initiate the red click stall. So now we have both of the alts set up, and all three of the shamans are situated exactly how we need them to be for this method to work. And now on the account that we want to kill the shamans on, we will repeat the path that the second alt took and go along the northeastern wall. We might get aggroed by some small lizardmen here, and all we have to do is prey range, uh, anti-poison, and kill them. Now that they are dead, I'm going to run over here and mark this tile. This is the tile that I stood on while using the F bow here, because it has a higher range. But using the magic short bow for this example, um, I will get dragged two tiles uh, in the direction of whatever shaman I'm attacking. Which is fine, they still won't aggro you. One last thing I want to add is going to the Runelight plugin FPS control. And where it says limit FPS unfocused, you're going to want to check that box and set the unfocused FPS target to 1 for the alt clients. That will make it so for those two clients, when you are not looking at them, it will set the FPS to 1 for the client. And what that'll do is instead of there being a 5 minute timer on your account being logged in, if you idle for 5 minutes you'll get logged out, that timer will actually be 20 minutes now. So we can not touch the client at all for 20 minutes before getting logged out. And so using the setting, I will set a timer on my desktop to 19 minutes. And once it goes off, I will just click somewhere on the screen for each of those alt clients, making sure not to come out of the red click stall that we're in. And that is the guide. It is a very simple method. I'd say the only downside is that you need two alts to have it set up. But getting 100% Shazian Favor and getting full Shazian 5 armor is a fairly quick grind. It would probably take you less than two hours to do on a uh, med-level account. That being said, that is the guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And if there are any more guides that you want from me, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye.